Hello everyone and welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video we're going to solve this really interesting equation with exponents. We have 3 to the power x plus 4 to the x plus 5 to the x equal to 6 to the x. Really interesting equation and let's let's start to solve it. I suggest firstly to divide both part by 6 to the power x. So let's do this. Let's divide both sides by 6 to the power x. If we divide both sides by 6 to the power x we will have that 3 to the x over 6 to the x plus 4 to the x over 6 to the x and plus 5 to the x over 6 to the x and of course equal to if we divide right side we will have 1. The next that we need we need to know the rule. The next rule if we have for example a to the x over b to the x we can write it in one parenthesis so a over b all raised to the power x. So, and let's use this rule right here. So, if we apply this rule, we will have 3 over 6, it will be 1 half. So, we will have 1 half to the power x. We will have plus 2 third to the x, just dividing denominator in denominator by 2. And, of course, plus 5, 6 to the power x. So, we divide both sides by, by uh, we just cancel our denominator and denominator. So what we're going to do next? Of course, equal to 1. So what we're going to do next? Let's our function looks like that. So let's this function will be our pi x. And right here, for example, this constant will be our qx. So we will have two functions. On the right hand side qx and on the left hand side we will have pi x. And moreover, let's this function, this right here, will be our f fx. So what I'm going to show you. Take a look. Let's find the derivative of this function. So let's find f prime x. f prime x. So we will have right here this function if you're talking about derivative we will have one half to the power x and times natural log one half. So we're just finding derivative of this function and it adding so the same, which is 2 third to the power x, 2 third to the power x, natural log 2 third, and plus 5, 6 to the power x, and times natural log 5 over, over 6. This is our derivative of this, of this function. Because we know the rule if we have d, d over dx of a to the power x, so this function we will have a to the power x times natural log natural log a. And of course a to the power x need to be positive. So let's start to find the sign of this of this expression with this derivative. So first of all I wanted to show you that one half to the power x is positive and two third to the power x is positive as well and five six to the power x is positive. But what about these elements, natural log 5, 6, natural log 2 third and natural log 1 half, because base is less than 1. Let's draw a graph. So if we draw a graph, we will have that our function, logarithm function, so right here we will have 1. And as you can see, if the value of x is greater than 1, so as you can see, if the value of x is greater than 1, we will have that our y is greater than 1 as well. But if the value of x is less than 1, we will have that our y is less than 1 as well. For example, x right here, we will have that our y is right here. So our y is less than 1. So our these constants, when natural log is less than 1, we will have minus, we will have minus, and we will have minus. So as you can see, we have plus times minus, this expression plus plus times minus and of course the last plus plus times minus so right here we'll have minus plus minus plus minus so we add three negative expressions so this is, is negative this is negative and this is negative so we'll have that our derivative will get an, a negative sign so we will have that our f prime x is less than zero so our function is monotonic monotonic decreasing decreasing function so this function is monotonic decreasing function so 
uh, p prime x this function p prime x px is monotonic decreasing function so we find that this function is monotonic decreasing function but what about qx we know that qs is, is a constant so this is a constant this is a constant so what we have right now we have monotonic decreasing function px and constant on the right hand side so what a graph we will have i draw a graph right here on the top so we will have a constant q equal to one right here is a constant and we have monotonic decreasing function so for example we have monotonic decreasing function like that we will have monotonic decreasing function monotonic decreasing function so as you can see right now we have only one point of intersection right here so this is only one one point one point of intersection so it shows us that right here we'll have only one root because on the left hand side we have monotonic decreasing function and on the right hand side we have a constant so it shows us that we have only one point of intersection and we'll have only one root so let's suppose for example that our x is let's suppose so x is equal to zero we will have one plus one plus one equal to one which is not correct which is not correct let's suppose that x equal to one we will have that three plus four plus five equal to six which is not correct so it's not equal it's not equal and of course let's suppose that x is equal to two for example what we'll have we'll have nine plus sixteen plus twenty five equal to 36 of course which is not correct so this root is not good for us and of course x equal to 3 let's let's check it we will have 3 cube we will have 27 plus 4 cube 64 and plus 125 so right here on the left hand side we have 216 and equal to 6 cube which is equal to 216 and as you can see we will have that our left hand side is equal to our right hand side which is which is good for us so that means that our x is equal to our x is equal to equal to three and this is one and only one and only root so we hope you understand this explanation because this is not like a general method to solve this kind of exponential equation but if you know about derivative we can easily show that our our left function so i named right here f prime x but doesn't matter pi x fx doesn't matter so we can easily solve this this equation of course if you still have any question write a question in the comment and of course thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos